Now we turn to meteorologist Andrew Salmon. Andrew, very scary time. Florida is my home state, and I've just been watching that, you know, as much as I can. So mm -hmm. please update us on what's happening right now. Yeah, Lauren, we are continuing to track Hurricane Ian, the Category 4 hurricane just below, just shy, about two miles per hour shy of being a Category 5 hurricane. Not that it really matters at this point because it is going to be a strong one. The eye wall is now moving into western uh, Florida right now. You can see that is the uh, very clear, the clearly the eye of the hurricane. And you can see the heavy rain band set wrapping around it where the yellows and oranges and reds are. That's called the eye wall, and that is the strongest part of the storm. When we say that the winds are 155 miles per hour. That does not mean the winds are that strong way out here. It's really in the eye walls where the strongest, the strongest winds are. And now they are starting to move in towards the Venice, Port Charlotte area. Uh, and now Pine Island, Florida, getting in on some very heavy rain. There's also a lot of lightning within this eye wall as well. Now, lightning is not too common when it comes to tropical systems. So when you have a lot of lightning with these storms, that is a good sign that this is a very strong one and could continue to intensify over the next couple of hours here until it finally makes its landfall. And from there, it will begin to weaken as hurricanes do once they move over to land because they lose the energy that they've been getting from the ocean and they cannot survive over land for too long. It will weaken to a category one hurricane and a tropical storm by the time it moves across the Orlando area, potentially move back into the Atlantic Ocean where it could strengthen a little bit, but, but not a significant amount before making a second landfall in either South Carolina or Georgia as a tropical storm. So again, definitely going to see major impacts with that West Coast Florida storm surge could be up to 18 feet in some places. Think about it as this. You have the ocean. The ocean comes onto land and, and inundates the land with up to 18 feet of water. That is certainly a possibility and can do a lot of damage. Back here in East Texas, temperature wise, we are sitting out in the 70s and 80s right now late this morning. It's a, a beautiful afternoon for us. Uh, if you plan to head out to lunch uh, pretty soon, you can, of course, leave any rain gear at home. Make sure you have the sunglasses with you. It's very comfortable. Dew points are sitting out in the 30s and 40s, and we'll see a warm day overall, but it will be pleasantly warm with that low humidity. High temperatures this afternoon climbing into the upper 80s to the low 90s in a couple of places. Winds out of the southeast at around 10 miles per hour expected as we head throughout your day today. Now over the next seven days, we are actually going to see a bit of a cool down once again heading into Thursday. We go from a high of near 90 today to a high of 82 on Thursday and 83 on Friday. Friday morning, some of us could see morning lows dropping into the 40s, but then we will see a gradual warming trend as we head into next week, where we could be talking about highs in the 90s once again for the early part of next week. Let's take a look at your forecast for today. We're climbing into the upper 80s this afternoon with some low 90s, pleasantly warm with the low humidity, mostly sunny skies. And we've got winds out of the southeast today at 10 miles per hour. For tonight, we'll drop down to the middle 50s. It will be cool and comfortable overnight, perhaps a bit of a chill in the air before the sun rises Thursday morning. We'll see lots of sunshine for the next seven days here in East Texas into the weekend and into next week as well. We continue to stay dry, although we certainly do need the rain for deep East Texas. It's another dry forecast for us. Mostly sunny skies expected for the next seven days. For your latest weather forecast, you can head on over to our website, 